Hi everyone and welcome to this Valkyrie sound video on what is the mixer node. So the mixer node is found in the sound queue. It lets us play several sounds at the same time and set the levels of each sound, each WAV, that we plugged into the inputs. So how can we use this node? Well one way is to have ambient sounds that run continuously through a particular scene in your game. So here in this example I have two WAVs. I have a marketplace one which sounds like this. And I have a city traffic one as well. So what I'm going to do, I've set these sounds to loop and I've hooked them up to a mixer node here. We get the mixer node by right clicking in the sound queue and clicking on mixer. And as you can see, if you've highlighted WAVs that you've already dropped into the sound queue, you can have them highlighted, right click, and it will attach the mixer to those WAVs. But let's delete that one for now. So together, these sounds will provide a backdrop, a little loop to the ambient scene that I'm trying to create. Through the mixer, we get the combined sound. So if I plug this into the output, you'll see that it's playing both sounds simultaneously. Like that. And maybe I want the marketplace sound to be a little bit louder than the traffic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the mixer node. I'm not going to go above a value of one. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the volume of the traffic. So let's say 0.5 for that one. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's try and scrub that a little bit more. And as you can see, I can adjust the sound of each input by either clicking and dragging on the little double arrows here, or I can physically type an entry in as well. And I can do that when it's playing. So the sound's going to be adjusted in real time, so I can monitor the effect as I'm editing the sound cue. Now we can also daisy chain our mixer notes. So if I wanted to add some rain and a fountain in, let's get those WAVs. So I have them in here. It's got a light rain layer, medium layer, and a large fountain sound. I'm going to click and drag these into my sound queue. So they're in there. And now what I'm going to do is set all of these to loop because they're part of the background scene and I want them in there continuously. I'm just going to organize this a little bit. So I'm going to bring my fountain sound down here for the moment. We'll have these rain sounds on their own mixer. Scroll down a bit and then mixer. Now there is one interesting thing here as well. If we go back to the content browser, we can see that I still have these three WAVs selected. If I go to the sound cue that I'm creating and right click, you'll notice that there's more contextual options here now. So I can say add a mixer to multiple WAVs and all three of those WAVs that I had selected in the content browser will now be plugged into this mixer here. But let's delete that for now. So now I have my rainfall sounds plugged into the mixer. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. And individually. Okay, well I want the light rainfall layer to be the more prominent one in the mix. So again, rather than increasing the volume of that one, which could lead to clipping, I'm going to reduce the volume of the second input, which is related to the medium layer. So let's say 0.4 for that one. So let's say 0.4 for that. Try that again. Okay, so that sounds good. Next, I'm going to take the output of that mixer node and I'm actually going to add it to another mixer node. So let's put this down here. I'm going to drag it from there and select mixer. We'll uncouple that from the output. Then I'm going to add the traffic and marketplace WAVs that mix up there into the second input on this new mix that I've created. And I'm going to add a new input and I'm going to attach the fountain sound. So now when we play this, 
we got all of the sounds playing. That's quite loud, really, but we get all of the sounds playing there. One thing that's really important to remember is that sound cue executions read from left to right. That means that the changes I make in these mixer nodes here will be carried forward as their output to the inputs on this mixer. So I've already mixed these sounds relative to themselves. Now I can mix each of the mixed set of sounds with other sounds also being mixed and other sounds that aren't mixed, like the fountain sound down here. With this mixer node, I have master mixing over the entire sound cue. So I think the fountain sound is a bit loud in this mix, so I'm going to reduce that one, say to 0.3. See what that sounds like. Okay, okay. So let's see what else we can do with this. What I can do instead is I can reduce the rainfall sound altogether. So let's cut out the rain altogether. Now we have the fountain and the traffic. But let's say I want to bring the rain back and I want that to be the most prominent thing in the mix. That means I want it to be the, the loudest part of the sound mix. Um, and I'm going to reduce the traffic in the marketplace sounds down to say 0.55 for that. So now what we have... We've got a rainfall, we've got a little backdrop of marketplace walla there. Walla is just a, a um, sound design term for the background chatter you get, especially in a public place. If you've ever been to a restaurant or if you sat outside in a crowded space, then you, all that hubbub that you hear in the background it's known as Walla. So I can adjust these mixer nodes in any way that I like. I can add more density, more layers of sounds in to make more complex scenes. This is a good use of the mixer node, but of course you can use it to mix any sound wires that you have in your sound queue, no matter what type of sound you're creating. Ambient sounds is one option, but you can also use the mixer node if you're making a, a gun noise, if you're making dialogue, anything at all really. And I'll be making some later videos on how to set up sound cues so we can use what we've learned in these short videos and put them together to make more complex sounds within Unreal Engine. And that's it for mixer nodes. Let me know what you come up with using them yourself.